I was asked um, if I would share my tea gear and how I brew tea. And so I'm gonna start with my uh, electronic kettle. And um, it's currently at 175 uh, degrees. So I can change that to 200. Press start, the red light means hold. The blue light is um, that it's on and heating. So you hear it, and it's gonna be done in a minute. I'd like to get one that has that long spout, but not until this one dies. <laughs> so I gathered all my tea gear together, and I realized, yeah, I really am a tea snob. I got more gear than I thought I had. But, um, so uh, this is the way I make tea uh, most regularly, and that's with this guy Juan. And then I have a personal serving pitcher and an infuser basket. I have these cute little, they're actually uh, antique buttercups where I like to put my tea out so I can actually view it. So now that the hot water is done, we're gonna pour it into the gaiwan and you don't wanna fill it too high. That's a trick. I'm by no means an expert at all of this. And you cover it up. I'm supposed to have a timer. I don't. Um, <laughs> but I do uh, follow temperature guidelines. So um, what's great about guy wands is that the lid should tuck in here. If it does not, you don't have a very good guy wand. I have this spoon I use a lot and I have some others. I've collected spoons. So I usually keep one handy. Sometimes I like to uh, move things around uh, in my guy wand. Sometimes I move it around like that. But the reason you don't wanna fill the water up too high is because then the, the, the way this edge is built is so that you don't burn yourself, that you can grip the edge. And if you fill it up too high, then the edge gets hot. So um, here's my infuser basket. I put it in my serving pitcher and empty my guy wand into it. Usually take the lid off to let it cool down because I don't like to um, let the leaves bake, so to speak, inside. I'll pick it up and smell it. I'll smell this. I'll smell that in my tasting. Then you have your infuser basket, so it's caught anything that um, I sloppily poured, and it has a little tray where um, you can keep it clean. And then here's your liquid that you would pour into a cup. I have these fabulous little bitty cups I love. They have this lip on them that just conforms to my lip and I love it. I love being able to see the color of the tea. And the other thing I have is this mat. And I think the mat is, what What do you think it is? Microfiber. He could have spoke. He's holding the camera. Um, he could, I, I think it's microfiber. It came when I ordered some stuff from China and I love it because when I spill on it, it um, hides all of my spills and it's easily washable. I did just buy these, they are uh, bamboo fiber because I really love white and I'm trying to find something to replace this. And they work well, but then they show all the tea. So I may have to um, give up my uh, need for white or just uh, deal with the tea that shows on it. So um, we good to go, you can keep filming. Okay, just don't get my body. <laughs> Instructions to husbands. So this is my other guy one. It, I love this one, it was my first one. I actually like the way it feels and I like that it's white inside. Um, and it also tucks in there really well. It's a much nicer um, size. I think both of these are 200 milliliters for pouring. So this is, uh, my husband's basket. 
So it's a little bit more manly than my pretty basket. <laughs> uh, and then this is another serving pitcher. So it's so great to be able to serve yourself. I just, first I thought that was a weird idea, but I really love um, the fact that I can serve myself and pour this tea into anything. Um, so I can mix and match. That's what I do to change things up. I might use this pitcher with this guy one, you know, or vice versa. So that's that. And then I have some more of these little cups that I love. I have things that I can put my tea on, like I have a lot, a lot of handkerchiefs. I have these little things that I picked up. This is really, really handy because um, this is if I decide to warm water on the stove top and it's really small. It does come with its own basket also. Um, and sometimes I will use this to set the basket in. Um, so, but it gets hot if I decided to, to uh, even warm up water on the stove instead of the electric kettle. So I touched, I, I handmade this. You can see I need to wash it. Um, but it's just a piece of fabric stitched together um, and I keep that handy. So here is a regular teapot. Get closer, dear. And um, I use this teapot a lot, uh, but here's what I do when I use it. I don't use tea balls anymore. These things are handy for everything. So I just drop that in there, put my tea leaves in and my hot water, and I brew it when I'm done. I take it out and I have a whole pot of tea. Um, also, uh, when I am uh, traveling and I can do this with any, uh, any cup that I have, I often will do uh, put these directly in any cup, but this is my travel mug that I use. I've had it for a very long time, but I can warm up some water um, often on the uh, Coleman camp stove. And uh, then I take this, just plop it there and put my tea in it, pour my water on it, and I am done. Now, and I can, you know, go on off, put that in the car and go. But now I will also do this, especially when we're camping and I'm warming it up, up a whole pot of water on my Coleman camp stove. I still have this teapot and I will take it with us and it has its own basket um, and, and I love this one. It was my first kind of teapot because you put the leaves in there and you see there are uh, no holes beyond here. So it, it, it uh, eliminates the need for one of these baskets. Um, and so um, when the tea is done, you just take this plunger and plunge it down. It goes below the holes so your tea is no longer brewing. And then I will take this and pour it into this gigantic thermos. This thing, like 12 hours later, it's still hot. I forgot the brand name. It's a corksicle and it's the canteen size. And we absolutely love it for camping. So I will brew, usually it takes two of these to fill this and then I can just throw it in the car since it has a screw top lid. Um, it can roll around in the car and not spill. It, it hasn't spilled yet. And when I need more tea, we reach to the back seat and we refill these up, um, which also stay tight. See, they screw down and unscrew in the middle. And so um, this screws on screws tight here and it doesn't spill when I'm ready to drink. I just unscrew it a little bit and I love that this is a thin edge. So uh, another thing for traveling, if we um, are staying somewhere with electricity, a hotel or something like that, this is my, I can't reach, you. I have to go forward dear. Um, this is my uh, travel electric kettle.
So it fits right in this bag. And I just, you can just pop it up. It doesn't um, have a very much water. It's not really, uh, it, it doesn't even fill this. Um, you have to do it more than once to even fill that. But it's a great thing if you are staying in a hotel or something to warm water. Of course, you can also um, use their coffee makers in the hotel room to warm your water. So um, back here, um, this, we, I, we absolutely love it. This is how I make cold brew tea. So you can see the leaves floating around in it. And sometimes, um, like last weekend, I put fruit in it as well. And the same tea tastes totally different cold brewed than it does out of the gaiwan or the teapot infused. So here's um, one of them. It's shaped like a wine bottle, which is really cool. But you see here, it has um, uh, a uh, filter. And so you put that on, you put your tea in, you put your water in, put it in the fridge, let it cold brew for 24 hours. And then you just pour it right out when you're ready. Isn't that cool? And then this here is, um, I'm not sure, I'm not totally sold on this and whether I'm gonna keep it or not, but it is a frother. So I put a little bit of cream or milk in there and I can heat it or not heat it um, for frothing to add to my cup. So here's our mugs. We don't have very many. Most of them are white because I like white. We took the cabinets off. Oh, those are fun for making simple syrup and putting them in if, if you sweeten your tea. I don't sweeten my tea a whole lot. This is kind of my favorite mug. Um, I have several of them. I like the way it conforms to my small hand. Um, sometimes I use this mug or this one. Here is my heart shaped mug. You can't tell, but it's, uh, once you fill it, you will see that it looks like a heart down in there. This is a teacup that we never use as a teacup. <laughs> we use it to eat out of. Uh, I love it like a soup bowl or uh, anything. I put a lot my food in it uh, more than a teacup. This is a matcha shaker that I got. And this is my matcha uh, cup. It happens to be green, so I hide it in the back. I just brought it out so I could film this. And there's my matcha whisk. And on this side of the sink, are our glasses. Oh, we don't have very many. So I love being able to just choose a uh, different type of glass depending on my mood. And um, it just changes the whole um, aviance of your tea, especially your iced tea. Um, however, this mug is great for um, hot drinks as well. And you're able to see the color of the liquid. This has nothing to do with tea, but I thought I'd pause and show you it. This is a sage, and um, the Hint Hands did this, and I usually keep it handy around my tea. So I started my stove top, and I just stick it in there for literally, what is that, 20 seconds, and pull it out, and you see it smoking, and I can, like... <laughs> Two minutes from now, walk down the hallway and I will smell this. I absolutely love it. Of course, if you're smelling your teas, you don't want to do this while you're smelling your teas. But anyway, that's that. So this is what I call my tea cabinet with all my other stuff. And so um, I do, they say to keep your teas in um, the dark containers because when they get light, that um, causes them to change. They begin going through um, uh, the processing more, but I try to drink my teas up fast enough and I enjoy looking at the teas. I love looking at the teas. So I do transfer them to these and uh, write the you know names, like this one's Kerrigan on top, and I can also grab one of these and take it to work easily enough. I have some teacups in here. They look quite a mess, 
I have a cupping set. I don't use that very often, but I have this, I forgot the name of it, but it's for Japanese tea. And it's got a little filter in there. Um, so sometimes I use that. Here's another teacup. I only have those two, um, uh, not teacups, whatever that is. And uh, then I have some more mats and things that I've hand sewn in here. Um, and here's some more of my spoons. Um, I have this to grab tea. I got all sorts of little gadgets in here. And this is where I keep those other little teacups uh, in here. <laughs> so um, I got a bunch of things in there. And then down here, this is a teacup with some uh, dirt and fake succulents in it. These are my little cups that are Japanese cups. Those are the rest of my butter dishes that I absolutely love and I use every time. This was my great grandma's teacup. I have some more that were my great grandma's around. I sewed this here. These are little beads that I found in the basement that um, I had since I was a little girl. Can you believe that? <laughs> so I just took a loose piece of material and I sewed and sewed the piece of lace around it, sewed the little beads on it, and it weights it down. And then when I go outside, it can go over whatever cup I have and keep the bugs out of it. Isn't that super cool? And this is a much larger one. It goes on top of um, the uh, pitchers I have, the large pitchers, if I make a large pitcher, of iced tea or food. Um, here's another little mat. You've probably seen my videos where I dry and I'm getting ready to take these and um, crumple them. They've been drying a week. There's some rosemary, but then this would be my herbs from my garden and a few other things for cooking. But like this lemon balm is from my yard, which this is lemon balm right here. Um, you see that's this year's lemon balm stash and um, the mint. And I also will um, put those in tea. Now the mint I usually add with other tea leaves. The lemon balm I can make as tea alone. It is so good just by itself um, for evening. Goodness, do I have a lot of stuff to go with tea. So these are my two pitchers I use um, for iced tea or other drinks, whatever kind of drinks I want to make, juice or whatever, lemonade. Um, I have gotten in the habit of using old wine bottles, and that's what I generally will um, put my iced tea in, and I rotate them. I've got these caps that just come in and out that I bought, and I just wrote tea on them because I also have a, some that I keep water in and so that's how we most of the time uh, do our iced tea in those bottles because they take up so much less room in the refrigerator they stack in a row like that if i keep thinking i can keep finding more things that apply to tea uh, but a lot of these things are multi-use too so um, i if i sweeten tea i don't do it very often we use uh, raw um, sugar and so I just pour some in and um, here is actually uh, some maple sugar that I put in a jar and here is honey okay that was a lot of work getting all that out and put it away time to finish off this iced tea cheers <laughs>